So guys, my name is Ankur and today I'm going to show you how to use force field for beginners. I know many of you must be having some problems using force field and how you can use it. So what we are going to do is first we are going to add a circle and after that we'll go to edit mode to edit this circle then press 7 on your numpad and after that you have to press F alright after that again go to object mode and press 1 on your screen after pressing screen you just have to go to this tab which is particle properties and click the plus icon when you click the plus icon uh, you can see this circle will appear on your screen and when you play the animation when you play the animation it looks like raining circles or raining spheres so it's actually a particle system and I have set the number around 1000 but now I'm changing it to uh, 680 so now you'll see less number of particles similarly you can tweak the settings and change the pattern for example you can choose emit from vertices and now the spheres will appear from the vertices of the of this circle so uh, these are the settings which you can tweak according to your needs if it is volume then let's see what will happen now although this circle doesn't have any kind of volume but it is but, but blender is still emitting particles from the surface let's move to the force field which this video is all about so first we will press R and then rotate it like this or you can just press 90 degree and it will rotate the circle 90 degree along X and Y axis after that when you press play button then you can see the circles are falling down just because of the effect of gravity you can change the settings after going to field weights where you can see this gravity icon and you can lower down the settings to zero okay so if i again play the animation then you can see these circles or spheres are just floating in this space now i'm going to add force field now let's add force field into our 3d space if i'm going to press shift and uh, a that will open this menu and from this menu you have to go to force field and add force the field will appear where the cursor is so this time it appeared right in the center so let's move it a bit created earlier so we have to press uh, G to grab the force field and then we will press X to move it across X axis so time I'm going to move it to negative X axis as you can see after moving it to negative X axis now let's play the animation again nothing is happening why is the case so uh, what we need to do after this step is we need to go to this property i increase the speed around 10.4 then it will fasten the flow of the particles as you can see if i further <clears throat> but the important thing to note here is that if this strength is positive then it will go to positive x-axis or the positive axis but if i set the strength to negative then it will attract the particles as you can see now like now it is at attracting the particles a very funky pattern is created if you toggle the strength to negative x-axis as you can see so now let's add some uh, real objects to our particle to do that first we need to select a circle or the mesh as you can see then we have to go to the particle settings or particle properties then we have to go to render and select render as object after doing so uh, we need to pick uh, an instance object so let's add Suzanne to our scene so select that again and uh, 
go to render as and pick up Suzanne now we'll scale it further a bit and if I play the animation again then it will shoot down Suzanne so guys that's about it for this video if you have any question or query please drop a comment below and I will try to answer that so guys thanks for watching the video and uh, please subscribe my channel for more videos like this thank you